Welcome to the Russell County Football Coaches Show. We're going into week three and we're looking for a great week. We'll be right back with Coach Griggs and staff and players. Welcome back to the Coaches Show, the Russell County High School football team. Uh, we just passed week two, Coach, um, where you went to Stanhope Elmore. And um, the game was close. It stayed close the entire time. Didn't turn out like we hoped it would. But um, tell us a little bit about that game and what you, what you saw and what, you know, maybe the positives and any negatives you saw. Well, it kind of goes back to the Harris County week. I felt like offensively we started off a little slow. We got to learn how to be a four-quarter team, not just a, a second-half second half offense. I thought that... Uh, you know, we had some, some penalties that called back two touchdowns, and then we dropped two touchdowns in the end zone. Um, in the first half, I thought our defense played lights out defense. I was really proud of their effort. I think maybe we left them out on the field a little bit too much right. in the first half, and I think we kind of saw, you know, that come into effect in the second half. I mean, you know, ultimately, we didn't have any breaks. It didn't really go the way I wanted it to go. Um, but what I saw and the positives I saw was that second half, I saw a team go out there and give them everything they got. And, you know, if, if, if we would have played the second half, the, fir the first half like we played the second half, we would have gotten that W. That's great to hear. I mean, at least, you know, you, you, you got to have the positive coming out of it, obviously. Nobody likes the loss. Um, I know it's, it's kind of a blow to you, uh, especially after the, you had the jamboree and then you had that first game that, that turned out so good. Then to take the first road trip and, and have a loss is tough. And, to be honest, you know, I didn't make the trip with you, but I mean, we were we were watching the score, hoping, you know, hoping, and I, w I was getting the same comments back and forth. Was, you know, they're not getting any breaks. The guys aren't getting any breaks at all. The breaks are all falling the other way. So, it sounded like you had a good team that night, and maybe that maybe that maybe the trip impacted them a little bit. But you know, now they've got that under their belt um, as they go on to the through the rest of the season, whether it's at home or whether it's away. Now they know what it feels like to travel, even the new kids. Um, I know you've got some on there that are. That are already that have already started games away, but as far as the coaching staff and the team, you know, as they prep for each week, home games are always better because you have your crowd with you. But when you make that trip, it uh, it obviously does make a difference for it sure. Does. It does for sure. So we're looking uh, we're looking forward to this week. We're looking forward to taking a trip over to um, where we, where we're going now, Montgomery, right? Yeah, yes, sir. We're going to play Carver Montgomery, you know, yep. and, and I'll say uh, if they're not one of the most if they're not the most talented team in the region they're right there at the top you know they got two high school all-americans on the defense they got a quarterback who can sling it and a running back who can tote it every day twice on sunday and so we're expecting a good environment uh, but you know it's like anything i believe that if our boys just show up and do what they're supposed to do and play four quarters you know we got a chance and i think that's all you can ask for you know i mean it takes time to develop a culture and, and, and get things to exactly where it needs to be but i would say in a year and a half because that's about the amount of time yeah. i've been here we've we've made strides and I believe that the coaching staff has poured into these kids and made some corrections from last week, and I'm just excited. It's going to be a battle for four quarters. I mean, they're they're a very good, well-coached football team. I don't think you're going to have many games this year that's not going to be a battle. Probably you're in a you're in a tough division, and you're in a, you're in a situation where you've got teams that are they they're wanting the same thing you do. They want an undefeated season. They want to go after it hard. So now you've got a new goal to win as many games as possible. No give doubt. these kids as many wins as you can. Give the school system that is obviously back in your program no as many wins as they can while making these, these young men into men as well. So No, no doubt, but, but you know, fortunately in our region, I, I don't have too many other teams I got to play with two Alabama commits on the defensive line. True, true. So we're going we gonna, to we gonna get through this one, and, and, you know, we've got a plan, and I feel good about the plan, and the boys just got to go out and execute. Well, and, maybe. And the rest will take care of it. Soon. Maybe they can just kind of, you know, walk on around those commits, and hey. let's, let's get this, this game going downhill. So Yes, sir. That's, yes, what, sir. We're, that's what we're hoping for. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Um, uh, we're going to talk through players and coaches through this coaches show today as we get, you know, prepared for another road game this weekend on Friday night. We'll be right back. I know, Bean. I used to watch cartoons and sports on their TV, and now I use their internet. Take it from JB on Cohen, all SEC team offensive lineman. Bean, it's the choice of champions. Like Javion said, it is the internet choice of champions. Bean, bringing East Alabama more. All right, welcome back to the Coaches Show for the Russell County High School football team. Uh, it's my honor to be joined now with Coach Dixon. Coach Dixon's new to Russell County. 
but without a doubt, he's coming with much experience. And coach, we appreciate you joining us today. Talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing. You're the corners back, cornerback coach, all, not to be misstated as quarterback, the cornerbacks coach. Tell us what we can expect on Friday night and what you're seeing out of the kids. Well, what I'm seeing out of the kids thus far has just been uh, the eagerness, the willingness to just kind of listen <laughs> to the new old guy. Uh, to come in and give them direction. Uh, but I've been really pleased with uh, how they have accepted me. Uh, and, right. and this week, uh, you know, I ain't had no sleep, I guess you can tell, all week. Uh, <laughs> the challenge we have tomorrow is a tremendous one. Uh, yeah. But one that if our guys will just, you know, do what they've been coached to do all week, we, we'll, we'll have a chance. You know, it's like I was saying to Coach Griggs as we started the show, you know, every week's a challenge, with no doubt. Whether it's home or away, away games are a little tougher. Um, I think we can all agree to that. You, you maybe you don't have the, the the large home crowd there for you. Plus, the kids are having to ride a bus to get to where they're going to. So it's a, it's a mental thing. But prepping them, you've been th you've been through that before. You've been to away games before. Some of the kids have, some have it. So um, we're looking for some good stuff. What do you what do you think is the key to the game Friday night? Uh, the key to the game is consistent play. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the team that we're facing is, is a great team. I mean, one of the best teams I've seen thus far this year. Uh, but you know, last week, it was a battle of momentum. And the momentum, unfortunately, stayed in the favor of the most favor most of the game. But I was so proud of our guys, the way they withstood it. Now, we go to two minutes and 44 seconds in the game. They tore it to the end. They do everything to give it to them. And the way that they just stayed there, you know, fought through it, and still had a chance at the end to pull it out. Um, that, that's what, as if we just stay consistent and play what we've been coached to do. Don't try to do anybody else's position. Yeah. I'd like to see what happens. Hey, man, just a couple of plays difference, a couple of penalties difference, and, and Russell County came home with the win. Absolutely. And so we, we, instead of being one and one, we're, we're two and oh at that point. But hey, we can't look at that anymore. We got to look past that, move on to the next one. Get the, get the spirits up and, and take that trip to Montgomery. It's a short trip, an hour and a half. You're sitting in Montgomery where you need to be at. Hopefully that Crampton Bowl will turn into Russell County win. I sure hope so. All right, Coach. Thank you for being with us today. Anything else you want to say before uh, we wrap it up? Just go Warriors. All right. We'll be right back in a few minutes to talk to some players and then wrap it up with Coach Griggs on the Russell County High School Football Coaches Show. What is community? Is it a neighborhood? the businesses and homes inside it? Maybe community isn't just a place. Maybe it's a state of mind that when we care together, cheer together, we're closer to what really counts. At Beam, we're finding new ways to bring us all closer. And you'll find us right out there with you because community is always on our mind. Beam, bringing East Alabama more. All right, welcome back to The Coach's Show. Now we're with Dontrell Harris, he's the nose guard for the Russell County High School football team. Dontrell, um, you, you're, you're past your second game of the season. Tell us what you saw Friday night out of the team. Uh, we executed the game well. We executed the game plan well. But we had ups and downs, so we tried to come out with a win, but it, we were a little short. It was a close game, though. I mean, your yes, team sir. played hard. Did you see your teammates rallying and, and trying to trying to take it all the way? Did they ever – they didn't give up? They kept pushing, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's what that's all we can expect is for the team to play as hard as they can and and not to give up when they when they get down. I mean, you, you played a tough team. Yes, sir. Uh, this week coming up is going to be tough too. Mm -hmm. how, what are you thinking about this week? Are you how's the are the practices getting more intense? What are you seeing? Yeah, we 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 having a good practice. They getting harder, they getting hotter, but we out here working. Yeah, right. I, I can I can feel you with all those pads on right now. It's pretty warm out here as it is. So. Yes, sir. So what you saw Friday night out of your team, is there any doubt in your mind that it's just going to get better when the season, as the season goes on? Yes, sir, it's going to get better. We're just going to go out here and execute the game plan. And tell me, what, tell me what, you know, what stood out to you in that game as kind of the key moment um, that you saw your team either you know, stepping it up to the next level. Was it towards the middle, towards the end? What, what were you seeing there? Uh, we stepped up at the end of the game, but we, did, we just didn't have enough time. We had a little more time, we came out with it. A little more time and a few less penalties there. The penalties killed you in the end, right? Yes, sir. All right. Anything else you want to add? I know it's the first time you've been on the coach's show. Uh, a little nervous maybe, but that's okay. Anything else you want to add? No, um, all right. We sure appreciate you taking the time, and I know you got to get back to practice. So have a good day, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you. 
All right, we'll be right back with another player uh, and possibly another coach with the Russell County High School Football Coaches Show. Beam is delivering gig speed internet to 100% of our network. But should you get a gig? Well, if you want to download an album in a blink, video conference in 4K, make virtual reality more real, power all of your home smart devices at the same time, and still have bandwidth to stream everything without buffering, then yeah, you gotta get a gig. So call, click, or visit and get it. Because when you gotta get a gig, you gotta go with Beam. Bringing East Alabama more. All right, we're back with the Coach's Show, and we have now with us MJ Williams, who is the right guard. Uh, MJ, uh, tell us about the game on Friday night, and let's talk a little bit about getting in that bus and taking that trip to Montgomery on Friday night this week. Uh, all right, the game last week it was it was a great game second half, but first half we uh, we got we started off a little sloppy, dropped passes in the end zone, um, busted plays, missed assignments. Uh, got to pick it up faster uh, this week. So what about your teammates? How did they react to that? I mean, was it, they, I, I, basically I'm hearing and seeing that it, there was a never give up attitude, play to the end. Is that what you saw as well? Yeah, second half came out the gate flying. I, I love the energy the second half. It was amazing. That's great, man. That's what you got to have. You know, even if you get down, you know, a few points, you got to be able to pull yourself back up and take it to the end because you never know. One play makes the entire game. It could make the entire game. So talk a little bit about the bus ride that you're going to jump on that bus on Friday night and take it over to, to the Crampton Bowl in, in, in Montgomery. How, how, are you looking forward to that? Yes, I am. I'm, uh, you know, they have two five-star DNs committed to Alabama. They're great players. Uh, uh, we have a game plan to try to execute it and try to come out with a win. So you're going to win Friday night. That's, that's good. That's, that's what we need, man. That's, that's the attitude we need for sure. So tell us about the coaches. How, how did they react to you know, getting you prepped up this week, knowing we just, we kind of, we lost a close one on Friday night. Coaches, they, they came in Sunday, I mean, they just added. I mean, my, one of my dad's coaches, they, they were here for at least seven hours, game plan and everything, trying to get ready for us to win on Friday. That's great. What, what do you think the key to the game is Friday night? Um, consistency, um, being everywhere at all times, knowing what you're doing, knowing your assignment, you know, no missed assignments, very few penalties, and uh they will come out with a win. All right. Well, good luck on Friday night. We're all going to be cheering for you. Um, the trip's not too far. You, luckily, you're not taking hours away, an hour yeah. and a half or so on the, on the bus, and you'll be there. I know the team will be ready, and just do everything you can to push them over that finish line. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be right back with the uh, Coach's Show. I know, Bean. I used to watch cartoons and sports on their TV, and now I use their Internet. Take it from J.B. on Cohen, all SEC team offensive linemen. Bean, it's the choice of champions. Like Javion said, it is the internet choice of champions. Bean, bringing East Alabama more. All right, welcome back to the Coach's Show. We have a special guest, Coach Matthew Brazel. Coach, tell me all the all the uh, assignments that you have as a coach. All right, so there's a couple hats I wear. I'm the offensive yeah. coordinator, the strength coordinator, and then Coach Cardwell and I uh, are both the offensive line coaches. Now you can see why I didn't try to memorize yes, all that. Yes, sir. Um, obviously, we've got a special team here coming into a good season. Mm -hmm. um, right out of the bat with the Jamboree, you know, you have two wins, and then you go to the first week and you mm -hmm. win. Then you have to go on the road, have a little yes, challenge. Yes, um, what, by all accounts, was a great game and a very close game. Could have went either way. Mm -hmm. um, tell us what you're thinking about going into Friday night when you go to Montgomery. All right, so last week there was just too many uh, critical errors. Uh, with about three turnovers all resulting in points. That's not something you can do offensively and have success. Uh, going into this week, we, we, we know our task at hand. Carver has a really, really good defense. It's highlighted by two really dang good players. But the other nine, I promise, are not slouches. Right. They can get with it. Um, and so it just comes down to limiting critical errors, playing with super high effort, and then maximizing any opportunities that they give us. Well, it's just like their team. Your team's the same way. No doubt. You've got two here that have that have committed to a uh, pretty high-ranking school, a yes, very, sir. very, very uh, highly sought-after school. Mm -hmm. Every one of your players are trying to get that exact same thing, and in, in a lot of cases, yes, um, anyway. So every one of their players are as well. So you know you're going into a to a situation where everybody's wanting to play their best game. Mm -hmm. What do you think the key to the game on Friday night will be? Well, uh, again, it's just it's limit mistakes. There's yeah. critical errors. Well, well, any big time game, especially on the road, you mm -hmm. have a bunch of critical errors you're going to. It, it's going to be really hard to have success. Um, and then just capitalizing on, on any chance that we have to take advantage of the things they give us defensively. 
So I, I know that the kids were, you know, they were they were a little bummed coming back and, you know, coming back in here on Sunday. It was time to flip the switch and flip the script and, and go. And how did the coaches respond to that on, on Sunday? Oh, it's back to work. Yeah. I, that, the entire staff is back to work on Saturday morning. That's I awesome. usually wake up. Uh, I've got a nine-week-old daughter now, so I feed her, get her going, get her down for a little nap, and then I'm grading film, tagging film. And you, you, you really get about 24 hours to process anything. Yeah. Um, and then typically, for me at least, I, I, I try to be done faster than that because it's done, it's in the past, I have to move forward, yeah. or else we're, we're, we're not improving. Absolutely, yeah. I think every one of these, every one of these kids and every one of these coaches too, you know, they, they need a goal, and the yes, goal sir. is is the next week. You know? yes, sir. Yeah, I can ask all day long, how do you think the season's going to end? But you're not going to talk to me about that. You're going to talk to me about what Friday night is going to look like. It's about going one and zero every week. Yeah. If we can go one and zero every week, then we're, then, then we're getting after it. That's perfect. Time. Well, we appreciate you coaching these kids and yes, and putting Russell County on the map. I mean, the the whole coaching staff. It's just been a pleasure to talk to and work with mm -hmm. and. We're looking for some really good things on Friday night as y'all yes, take that little trip over to Montgomery. Yeah, we're, we're excited for it. All right. All right, we'll be right back in a few minutes to uh, wrap it up with Coach Griggs on the Coaches Show, uh, headed into what is week three of the football season for 2022. What is Magnify? Magnify spreads Wi-Fi across your entire home. Pods plug straight into the wall. No messy cables. They spread the internet from your existing modem to every corner of your home at full speed. Magnify doesn't just make your Wi-Fi faster, it intelligently adapts to your environment and manages your Wi-Fi 24 seven based on insights, like the number and types of devices you have connected. Magnify, worry-free Wi-Fi, brought to you by Beam. Coach Griggs, I think we're all, I can say this for everybody that's watching and everybody involved, we, we wish you good luck on Friday night. We hope that the team is ready to go. I know the coach is in, you know, I know you're pumping it into the kids, trying to get them ready. So good luck on Friday night. We hope we come back with a win. Any last words you want to say to the fans, the people out there? No, it's just, you know, our boys are, are really working hard. And, you know, I, I truly believe that we're getting 150% out of them every day and just keep staying with us. And I'm really excited. I think we have a really good season ahead of us. And, you know, I'm just excited. Come pack out the Crimpton Bowl on Friday. Go Warriors. All right, go Warriors. And that's the uh, that's it for this week's edition of the Coaches Show for Russell County High School football. If you can get travel Friday night, go see the team, support them the best you can. Um, you know, keep an eye on the team as they go through the year, and we'll see you next week with the next edition. <laughs>